All right, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you this video. Uh, uh, should make you motherfuckers laugh. It'll have me laughing. Just memory lane for me. Uh, then I'm gonna see if I get something to drink and probably have a. Uh, yeah, I guess drink is a. You know, it's, it's Memorial Day weekend. What are you gonna do? Just you know, have a mojito and just relax. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you back. Last night I did a video, and people were saying like, "You're so gently and cuddly when you're having a drink." And I'm like, I don't technically see myself as a disgruntled person. I really don't. I think I'm pretty much easy going. I just, I'm a very much a New Yorker from the old days and that's just how I am. But nonetheless, I have to admit one day, <laughs> after an altercation in a car with another car, whatever, I was uh, court ordered to attend an anger management class, which was fucking stupid. It was like four weeks. You had to go two times a week, sit in a room with a bunch of people that were angry, confused, lonely whatever so I had to come do this because it was a, de a, a deferred uh, instead of incarceration so it was like I think what it was like one month or two month in Rikers Island or I go to this class and everybody's like oh my god I, I totally understand why you're angry that type of shit but I wasn't going with that shit I went to this thing like the fuck it's normal to be angry in New York shit happens whatever we got rats the size of King Kong like we whatever we got reasons but anyway, here's the reason why this was a funny story. After everybody started, you know, everybody started a little disgruntled at first. That was like the first week, the second week. But then by the almost the thirdish week, the people were like, when I was a kid, they didn't love me the way I was supposed to. And motherfuckers broke down. I was like, holy shit. So me being like a clown, I'm always fucking around. But there was this one cat there. And only now I was able to track him down. Okay, he's dead now. But don't worry about it. <laughs> That's besides the story. The thing about it was, when he was in class there, or the session, whatever, he had a cowboy hat, a patch on his eye, and he was there because he got into some argument or something in some office building, so they sent him there as a deferred whatever. No problem. And every time he kept saying that he didn't have his chance, he could have been a superstar, and that if somebody else was the lead singer when he should have been the singer. And I was so tired of this shit. And first of all, cowboy hat and a patch over his eye, I was like, look, you just this, this got to this stop. This motherfucker's hallucinating, like for real. And then the way that I am, I'm like, dog, one day you should come and just perform for us to see, to show us who you really are. So at the end of the day, this motherfucker said, fuck it, <laughs> I'll do it. So I didn't think anything of it. Like I fucking left the, the session and I was telling my friends, everything. I was telling, Kyle, I was telling everybody, I was like, this motherfucker says he's going to come back next week, whatever, and perform with this rolling laughing sure enough on the last week of the anger court appointed anger management class, he comes with a little bag and he's like i'm ready to be who i am and who should i should have been whatever all of a sudden i'm like you go ahead you do what you gotta do i'm fucking drunk in this class that's how i double anger management class all of a sudden he gets up there with a cowboy hat a patch in his eye and he takes out two maracas and he starts fucking when you're in love with a beautiful. And he starts dancing all weird and transmit for that. I couldn't hold it. The alcohol in me, I fucking bursted at that scene. I, you know how I laughed. I was fucking in tears. All of a sudden, I see him slow down with the maracas. And then he comes at me with a maraca. So once he hit me in the head with a maraca, it was on. I was fucking this half a cowboy pirate up. <laughs> I fucking lumped this motherfucker. He took a couple of good shots at me too. All I know is once, once... It was all over, we were all arrested again. So it did the fuck anger management, we were back in central booking. So we're in central booking and obviously we fucked up. <laughs> like anger management didn't work. So brought us back to the judge. Judge is like, like the whole thing, did you antagonize him? I'm like, no, I didn't. I cheered him on. I told him to come. He's like, why did you get angry? He laughed at my maracas. I'm like, not really. You hit me with a maraca, you fucking half a pirate. So anyway, after all this was done and we did spend three days in uh, Central Booking, but I finally found this miserable cocksucker. I mean, he rests in peace, but I'm going to tell you something. This was him right there, okay? And this... There you go. You got to see this motherfucking mess. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Those are the maracas I got hit with. I punched him in his good eye, though. That's the guy that took his future away. <laughs> Look at the... Wait, I found out his name is Captain Hook. Hold on a second. Come on, come on, come on. Show Captain Hook dancing. You know it's hard. It's hard. 
Come on, come on. Where's See, there's Captain Hook right there. <laughs> You fight Dr. Hood. He had a good hook. May he rest in peace. You Moroccan cowboy pirate motherfucker.